Hey everybody, I'm on a trip with my husband right now and so we're in this interesting condo with interesting art on the wall and an interesting pattern on the couch. Anyway, I've been asked by some of you about renewing the mind and what it is and what it does and how do you go about doing it. And um, for our Bible study coming up, you're going to want to make a renewing of the mind goal. Mine is simply to think differently about zero to five eating, to know that it's a good, godly, wonderful boundary that I am delighting in. That is my renewing of the mind goal, if you will. I want to think differently. I want to think God's thoughts about zero to five eating, okay? So how do you go about renewing your mind? First of all, you've got to pick what your renewing of your mind goal is. To think differently about food, to think differently about zero to five eating, to think God's thoughts after him about my body, whatever it might be, or all of the above. Um, I suggest you pick one for the study, but generally speaking, our lives are going to be filled with opportunities from now until heaven to learn to think differently about all kinds of things in life. This world that we're in is for the purpose of our sanctification, to learn to become more Christ-like, and to praise His name with our lives, okay? So, the second thing is you're going to want to plan when, proactively, before you're in the midst of temptation, when you're going to renew your mind ahead of time. You can also renew your mind when you're in the midst of temptation and after you've given in, but even better if you plan it beforehand. For instance, in the morning when I get up, I know that is a great time for me to renew my mind, to, to in, be intentional, intentional about thinking God's thoughts about zero to five eating. Um, and I also know that in the afternoon for me, from three to five, is a really good time to be intentional before I'm tempted to think God's thoughts about zero to five eating. And then I know that after dinner, when perhaps I will be unwinding with my husband watching a movie, it's good for me before I do that, after dinner, to think God's thoughts about zero to five eating. So those for me are three times of the day. That's a plan, a proactive plan for renewing my mind before I actually am in the midst of, oh, oh, oh no, okay? Um, it's also good to renew your mind after you've given in to temptation and if you can pull it out uh, in the midst of giving in to temptation, mid-bite as the case may be. Okay, so now what do you do to renew your mind? There's a number of things you can do. Let's start with the most basic. If I'm going to think God's thoughts after him, where are his thoughts recorded? They're in the Bible. So through scripture memory, through reading of God's word, through praying it out loud, um, you might... That those are wonderful ways of actually thinking God's thoughts after him. Now you may say, that's not specific enough. That's kind of too general. I get that, okay? What I have done is I have, uh, an, and this is a second way of actually renewing your mind, I have written down, and in my case, I've typed it up and put it on my BlackBerry. You could put it on an index card. You could put it on your laptop. You could put it on a piece of paper, whatever works for you. Um, I have written up what are the truths about zero to five eating as a good and godly and wonderful, delightful boundary for me. And I have a whole list of them and I've put them at the blog before um, and hopefully there'll be a link after this video so that you can find that. But come up with your own. Whatever it is that you want to think differently about, write the thoughts that are good, noble, true, excellent, and praiseworthy about whatever it is. If you want to think differently about your marriage, if you want to think differently about your job, if you want to think differently about um, making beneficial food choices, choices that you know are wholesome um, for your body, things that your body works well with, um, whole body pleasers, um, whatever it might be that you want to think differently about, then write down or type up or uh, put into your BlackBerry or your iPhone, whatever it might be, a list of true thoughts about whatever it is. So in my case, zero to five eating is a good, godly, wonderful boundary that I can delight in because it's easy. It is easy. It's simple. It's simple. I get to eat whatever I choose when I'm hungry between zero and five instead of obsessing about numbers and points and calories and fat grams. That is so much better. It is a natural way um, that's another thing I might put on there. It's a natural way for me to land on my God-given size. Zero to five eating causes me to land on my God-given size and to maintain it once I'm there. Okay, so, and I, and I have like a long list, really, of why zero to five eating is a good, godly, wonderful boundary that I can delight in. And whatever it is that your renewing of the mind goal might be, I suggest you jot down true thoughts about it. 
Okay, so that's another way you can renew your mind. When you're caught in the midst of your temptation um, to eat outside of zero to five eating, pull out your list and try to stop it in its tracks. We don't want to let our thoughts take us captive. Instead, we want to take our thoughts captive and submit them to obedience. And one of the ways to do that is to say, no, I'm not going down that road. I'm going to go down this road instead. And this is the road where I'm choosing to think God's thoughts after him about whatever it is that I may struggle with. Okay, another way to renew your mind is with Barb's app. Okay, and I really believe in that. This is my little iPod Touch. I have her app here um, on it. And let's say I'm in a situation where, um, let's see, dieting is hard. Obviously, I'm not dieting. Barb's app, can we can change some of the wording of it so that it works for us. Dieting is hard eating. Well, another way of thinking that, zero to five eating is hard too. So I'm just going to replace what she, when she uses the word diet with zero to five eating instead. Is there ever a good time for zero to five eating? Well, yeah, there is, um, but there are times when it's going to be hard too. Um, what would I gain by staying on my zero to five eating plan today? Well, I'm gaining practice at doing what I need to do the rest of my life. I'm gaining a heart that's turned to God. If I stick with zero to five eating right now, I know I will experience joy, I will experience freedom, and I get to eat whatever it is I'm, I'm tempted to eat right now. I could have that later when I'm at a zero. Um, what do I think will happen if I don't stay on my zero to five eating plan today? I know what will happen. I will practice disobedience, which means I'm going to be more likely to practice it the next time, and I will probably gain weight, get bigger. Um, I, my heart will feel hardened towards God. Uh, and it, there's a whole list of things that are true about abandoning my zero to five eating plan, things that aren't happy, <laughs> things that aren't good. So that is another way of renewing my mind, going through her app questions. If there's the word diet, just change it with zero to five and thinking truthful thoughts about truth about uh, abandoning my zero to five eating. What is truth about that? Well, there's all kinds of things that are negative about it. And, um, um, and what is true about if I am obedient to zero to five eating. Her app helps me remember those truths by asking me these questions. And so that is another practical way of renewing my mind. All right, well, I hope this helps you. It just basically means thinking true thoughts about whatever it is that you want to renew your mind about. So thinking true thoughts about the lies you've believed, does that make sense? So like if I believe that eating outside of zero to five is going to make me happy, what is true about that? I have lived outside of zero to five eating boundaries a lot of my life and I have struggled with my weight because of it. Um, when I eat according to zero to five eating boundaries, I release the weight, I experience the joy of obedience, my walk with God is enhanced and empowered, and I, I get to learn what it's like to depend on Him moment by moment, and my walk with God just soars in comparison with when I say, no way, God, I'm going to do what I want here. I've had lots of practice with disobedience in my eating, and where has that gotten me? Where has that gotten you? So thinking God's thoughts after Him about zero to five eating or whatever it is that is your uh, renewing of the mind goal. Check Barb's um, website for more um, blog articles about renewing of the mind, and I think that will help you a lot. Thanks.